The missing submarine that had the entire world watching. Desperate search for that missing submersible. Some major new developments tonight in a story the whole world is watching. Coming more urgent tonight. Exploring the deepest parts of the ocean can be extremely dangerous. Especially when touring with Ocean Gate Expeditions. This is the full breakdown on the submersible named Titan. Let's go back in time. April 10th, 1912, the world's largest ship set sail. The most luxurious ocean experience to date. Little did anyone know this would be the worst maritime disaster in history. The supposed unsinkable RMS Titanic struck an iceberg, causing the ship to sink only two hours after impact. This resulted in the death of over 1,500 people. This catastrophe led expeditionists wanting to search for the wreckage. For 70 years, the Titanic was unable to be found. Until 1985, Robert Ballard, a naval reserve officer in just eight days, found the RMS Titanic around 400 miles off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada, via a remote-operated vehicle. This paved the way for other expeditionists that wanted to travel to the Titanic, including famous movie directors such as James Cameron. The mind behind the Oscar-winning movie, The Titanic, and other hit movies such as Avatar. James Cameron has made 33 dives to the historic site. Fast forward to 2009, OceanGate launches and purchases their first submarine, Antipode, and later builds two of its own, Cyclops 1 and Titan. In 2016, OceanGate was conducting water testing in multiple areas, including the Bahamas. After these test dives to Titan's maximum intended depth in 2018 and 2019, the composite hull of Titan developed fatigue damage and was replaced sometime in 2021. OceanGate's goal was to provide a tourist service to visit the wreck of the RMS Titanic, successfully completing several dives to the wreck site in both 2021 and 2022. The cost of being a passenger on an OceanGate expedition to the Titanic was $250,000 per person. The Titan was the first ever five-person submersible vehicle able to reach such depths. Stockton Rush designed the submarine himself, even showing off the sub on OceanGate's YouTube channel. Stockton also displayed multiple features of the sub in a news interview, including the Logitech controller used to pilot the submarine. And this is not the first submarine from OceanGate operating on a controller. Cyclops 1 operated on a PS3 controller. Other parts in the sub included off-the-shelf parts, even lights from Camper World. If the controller has you on edge, wait until you see that the sub operates on one button, similar to an elevator. David Lockridge in 2018 was fired for raising concerns and ended up filing a lawsuit revealing that the viewport of the submersible only was built to certified pressure of 1,300 meters, even though the Titanic shipwreck lies at 4,000 meters below sea level. Overall, many people have questioned the overall safety of carbon fiber being used within the hull. Overall, Stockton Rush did create a submarine that had been tested and made multiple successful trips down to the wreckage of the Titanic. However, Stockton Rush's friend of 10 years did go on the news and state on the second dive in the Bahamas that he heard cracking, which was most likely the carbon fiber. James Cameron made comments on the fact that the Ocean Gate company had never received certification on Titan. I do want to state that Stockton Rush did seem like a great person, and rest in peace. But overall, I feel he did skip a bunch of steps that put many people's lives at risk. Let's fast forward to June 16, 2023. The Ocean Gate mission team is leaving Newfoundland, Canada on the vessel Polar Prince, heading towards the Titanic wreck site. Saturday, June 18, 2023. It's 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and the Titan submersible starts what would normally be a two-hour descent down to the Titanic wreck, which lies at a depth of 13,000 feet in the North Atlantic Ocean. 9.45 Eastern, communication between Titan and the Polar Prince are lost an hour and 45 minutes into the descent. 3 p.m. Eastern, the Titan should have returned to the surface. It hasn't yet. 5.40 Eastern, the Coast Guard was contacted by Polar Prince about the Titan, Yesterday afternoon, uh, we were notified by the operator of the submersible vessel that it was uh, overdue. Which had five people on board diving to view the Titanic wreck 900 nautical miles east of Cape Cod. The entire world starts watching with news coverage everywhere. Help arriving in the frantic search for a missing submersible. Let's do a quick breakdown of the passengers aboard Titan. 
Amish Harding was the chairman of Action Aviation, a British billionaire. This isn't Harding's first rodeo when it comes to using a submarine. He operated a submarine to the deepest part of the ocean, which is the Mariana Trench. Harding also has a Guinness World Record for flying a plane from the South Pole to the North Pole, which he did in just 46 hours, 40 minutes, and 22 seconds. Shazda Dawood, the vice chairman of Engro, a Pakistani energy investment company. His son, Solman Dawood, a 19-year-old college student. And Paul Henry Nargelet, who was a 22-year French Navy veteran also given the nickname Mr. Titanic for his expertise of the ship, and the CEO of OceanGate, Stockton Rush. Monday, June 19th, U.S. and Canadian Coast Guard ships and planes are searching the dive area, some even dropping sonar buoys that can monitor submarines. U.S. Coast Guard Admiral John McGower states that this is a very remote area and a challenge to conduct a search. Officials in conjunction with OceanGate determined that if the submarine is still intact, it has an estimate of 70 to 96 hours of oxygen. Tuesday, June 20th. During the day, sounds were detected over several hours by a Canadian Lockheed P-3 Iron Aircraft, which is equipped with gear to trace submarines. Wednesday, June 21st. During the day, U.S. Coast Guard, U.S. Navy, Canadian Coast Guard, and Ocean Gate Expeditions establish a joint operation to locate the submarine. 2 a.m. Eastern. The U.S. Coast Guard announces that the Canadian P-3 aircraft detected underwater noises and is deploying remote-operated vehicles searching the area in which the sounds were detected. Thursday, June 22nd, 6 a.m. The U.S. Coast Guard confirms with OceanGate that Titan should have 96 hours of supply from the time it was sealed, according to its design specification. June 22nd, 2 p.m. Eastern. A debris field is found near the wreckage of the Titanic in the North Atlantic that contains pieces of the Titan submersible. A debris field was discovered within the search area by an ROV near the Titanic. Experts within the Unified Command are evaluating. 3 p.m. The U.S. Coast Guard confirms that the debris is consistent with loss of pressure and an implosion. The United States Navy contacts the U.S. Coast Guard, letting them know that Saturday, June 18th, they heard an implosion via a top-secret sonar system. Some of the largest craters in the world, like DL Mighty, have even been contacted and gone on an experience with OceanGate, who just weeks prior was attempting to go on Mission 3. All MYD documented the entire experience, but the dive was canceled once they were in the water due to weather condition. In his YouTube video, he states that if his dive wasn't canceled, that could have been him inside the submarine. I can't imagine what he's feeling seeing all of this unfold. Mr. Beast even tweeted stating that he was contacted about an opportunity to go on a mission with OceanGate, which he declined. To the people that lost their lives, rest in peace and they will not be forgotten. But with this tragedy, we all should require commercial companies such as OceanGate providing tourism be held to higher standard, as I do believe more testing could have had this catastrophe been avoidable. This has been Jukebox Docs. Be sure to subscribe for more.